there, everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about the before and after grid. After you're done with this video, you're going to be able to really hone in your copy. You're going to be able to create offers that are going to convert, and you're going to be able to jump into the mind of your clients and your prospective clients. This is so helpful when you're doing research and you're trying to figure out what kind of offers and what kind of content should I be putting out there for my brand or for my business. So if you're doing any kind of digital marketing, this is going to be extremely helpful. Hey there everybody, how's it going? My name is Brandon Brashears. I make daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're trying to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, then this is a great channel for you. You should totally consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and comment below with any questions or comments that you have. All right, so let's talk about the before and after grid. Some people call it the before and after grid. Some people call it the heaven and hell grid, right? It's really depends on where you're learning this from, um, but it's actually a pretty common concept in marketing, but it's extremely important, especially if you're trying to grow a product or a service or develop an offer. When you're doing marketing, you really want to get inside the head of the prospect. The reason why you want to do this is because when you're doing marketing, people don't buy things typically for the utility of the thing, right? The old uh, example is people don't buy drills because they want drills. They buy drills because they want holes. But that's actually not true either. People don't buy drills because they want holes. They want holes because they need to run a wire through it or a pipe through it. Or, you know, there's more to it than just here's a cool drill, here's, here's the features, here's the price, right? We're trying to figure out exactly what the clients and customers are looking for. So it's important to consider first, what is their before state? What does it look like? How can you communicate with these people so that they'll say, yeah, that's me, that's how I feel. And typically if you have a, a service or a product, it's going to do more than just the face value of that product or service. And if you want it to be more valuable than just like a commodity, for example, um, it's important to consider and really consider that you have to really relate to your clients and customers on an emotional level. If you can get into their most primal fears, their most primal worries, their most primal motivations that they have, you're going to be a lot more successful. People typically do things because they want to gain something. They do things because it justifies their emotional decision with logic. People do things because fear is a motivator. And in general, if you can tap into these base motivations, you're going to be so much more effective. So let's go through an example. So typically what I like to do is the, the before grid, I like to know what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're wondering, what are their worries, what are their needs, what are their wants, and really talk about what is it and what is the state that these people are in. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're doing a you're a realtor and you're selling a house. If you have somebody who's selling their house, you could think, well, all they want to do is sell their house. They are need to sell their house, right? There could be a million reasons why these people need to sell their house. And one thing that you should totally do before this is fill out your client avatar and customer avatar so that you know who you're creating this before and after good for. That is step number one. This is step number two. So that video up there in the left-hand corner on the card, you can click that and there's a client avatar worksheet uh, in the description of that video as well. But let's talk about this though, the before and after good. So you have your very specific customer avatar, right? And so even within selling houses, you have different kinds of house sellers. You have equity sellers. You have people that are selling because they're retiring. You have people that are selling because they need more room. You have people that are selling because they can't make the payments. You have people that are, are selling because they're upside down on their mortgage or they're doing a short sale, right? All of those people have different before and after grids. And likely your clients and customers are also in different areas depending on what's important of them, to them, right? So let's target somebody who is an equity seller. For example, they're retiring and they're downsizing, right? What does their before and after grid look like? So before they're worried about getting the most money for their house. They probably have time. They've been sitting on the house for a long time. They've paid it off. Now they have equity. They feel like they're proud of their accomplishments. They feel like they deserve to get the most for the money. They feel like their house is extremely valuable, extremely special. They have a serious emotional bond to it, right? And so when you're designing content around that, if you talk to them about how special their house is, how they've built memories there, right? The house has so much more value to that person than it does somebody who just is doing like a corporate rental, right? Or, you know, somebody who's like, oh, and I bought this house a year ago and I'm flipping it, right? Very different positions. And so when you're creating marketing and you're explaining to them, you know, especially if you like, let's say you had a reverse mortgage business where you're trying to get people that have equity to do reverse mortgages, right? Um, if you talk to them about how they 
have built a legacy in this house and you know their their state that they're in they feel connected to it they don't want to move out of it they want to maintain their lifestyle right you're you're talking about the emotions that they're feeling and really you're you're connecting with them on a very emotional level they feel like you're going to know them you're going to get to know them so the ad is going to be a lot more effective and so then you have the aftergrid so let's say that you you understand and you're empathizing with where they're at at their current stage and then in the aftergrid it's where they're going to be when they're ending up with you they'll be so relieved that you know this wasn't that hard to do they'll be so relieved that they got the most for it they'll be so relieved that they found somebody who is going to build a family in this house just like you did and the house is going to be used for good right all of those different things you're so much more deeper than hey i sell houses a two percent commission yes or no and you're so much more effective when you can be the bridge between that before state and that after state a good general copywriting rule is the feel felt found right you can tell a story about a client who has gone through a similar situation through a story and especially if you can use video testimonials and things you can talk about what they were feeling so what did you feel when you first got started well you know i've lived here for 30 years and i really felt like i didn't want to give up all the memories and things but it was getting expensive and i knew that you know my kids i didn't want them to have to support me and right so you're going through that feeling so what did they feel and then how they felt when the thing was happening but you know i found so-and-so realty service and immediately they got me they understood that you know this isn't just a house this is my legacy and so what we found was and then the solution and then the after how did they feel afterwards too and being that bridge and that gap really helps you to get you know more emotion convey more emotion and get people to to get to the end result really that's what people are looking for they're not looking for you know sometimes people are there are, there are different demographics right where people are just looking for the cheapest commodity and if you're a commodity provider you're, you're probably able to find those people just because you're competing only on price but if you're like other businesses that don't want to just be a, a price competitor that you want to offer a premium service you're going to have to bridge that gap you're going to have to find the hot button issues that are going to make you different make you better and really help you to not be just another commodity that's only going to be based around pricing right there's service there's caring there's commitment there's the ongoing um you know everything it's it really all comes down to this and if you can nail this as far as what is the before state is this something that you're feeling is this something that you're doing and then what's the after state if you can convey that in video in text in an image your ads are going to be so much more effective i would love to know though what do you think what are some of your favorite copywriting formulas for this if you have uh, any questions, any comments, need help with anything, comment below as always. And please, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.